Hello and welcome to this LED Sign It tutorial. In today's video we will be having a look at the LED Sign It app for Outlook desktop app. So you can find all the necessary information on the app in this area of your platform under the download for Outlook tab. So basically our app is available and compatible with MacBooks and Windows computers. If you would like to deploy the app massively, so either uh, via GPO or on a remote desktop server, please contact our customer care team so that they can put you in contact with a technical support specialist so that they can help you out with this type of deployment. In today's video, we will be looking at the app installation on a Windows PC. So you basically have two ways to invite or uh, send links to your users so that they can download the app. You can either just copy paste the link uh, over here, depending on the architecture of the PC. So either 64 or 32 bits. Or what you can do is go into the team tab and send them an email with uh, an invitation to download the app. So to do that, you just need to select the desired users you would like to send the invitation to. Click on the three dots over here, send invitations. Make sure the option here is no. We can have a quick email preview and then we can send out that invitation. So this is what the email should look like. And once the user clicks on this uh, download the app, the app should start downloading automatically. So we've already downloaded. So now we are going to open the app and get connected. So as you can see, uh, you can either sign in with your office or G Suite account or directly uh, type in your email and your password. So let me just get my credentials. Okay, so now the app should be synchronizing to the platform and we will see our signatures over here. So the master signature is basically the signature assigned to the user with the highest priority. And then the other signatures are obviously all the other signatures that could be assigned to the user. So we do have a notification over here that will ask us to restart Outlook. So let's just do that quickly. And then we should be able to see our signature directly in Outlook. So let's head over to the inbox click on new email and as you can see our signature is automatically inserted um, as mentioned earlier you do have the multi-signature feature in the app so if your users would like to switch between different signatures they can do so over here in the signature library so you will always see let's sign it signature and reply signature so this is basically the uh, main signature of the user. And then the other signatures should have the name of the signature uh, on the Let's Sign It platform. So if we would like to change to our secondary signature, we can just click over here and it's changed. Okay, going back to the app. Um, we also have the multi-account feature. So this basically means that you can use the app on multiple accounts uh, on one PC. So you just need to add another account, sign in as we did before, and then it should basically do the same. We also have this profile area, which basically allows users to modify some of the um, attributes that are in their signature. So as you can see, when I hover over the full name, first name, last name and job title, I cannot modify anything. But for all of these other attributes, I can. 
So this can basically be um, chosen by the admin of the platform. Uh, so if you would like to block all of the attributes, you can. If you trust your employees and want them to be able to change uh, whichever value in the signature at any given time, you can do that directly on the Let's Sign It platform. Uh, head over to the user attribute section. And over here, you can see we have a lock. So as you can see, the first four attributes are locked and that's why I could not change them on the app. So you can basically choose which you would like to unlock or lock. Okay, then we have the settings area. So as you can see, these are all locked. So the user cannot change these settings. And this is also something that the Let's Sign It admin can decide. So we will head over back to the downloads area and let's sign it app settings so basically you can choose uh, which of these settings will be applied to your users apps so you can go through them we have quite a, a few options uh, which can help uh, in certain cases next over here we can see our version of the app we can also check for updates if that is not done automatically and then we can export our logs. So the logs uh, are very, very useful for our support team because they can help us uh, find any errors in the apps uh, depending on the actions that were done. So whenever you have issues with the synchronization of the signature or the app not working properly, it will always be beneficial to us to receive the logs of the app. So you can just click on export logs and then this should create a folder on your desktop directly. So let's see, as you can see here, the logs for the 26 over here were created and we have one uh, document for each day. If, however, your users are experiencing an issue where they cannot log into their account and cannot click on export logs, you can always find the logs in the app da data folder on the, the user's computer. So you can go into let's sign it app and then logs and we have the same information. We do have a tutorial uh, explaining how to get to this folder in case this is not clear to you. So you can find this directly on our help center or by asking our support team uh, this information. And the last information we get on the settings page is the Outlook version. So there is one case where the app will not be compatible with Outlook. That is if you are using the Outlook desktop app that comes uh, by default on a new Windows computer. So in this case, you, instead of seeing Outlook version over here, you will just see version null, N-U-L-L. -L. If you see this on your app, it means that you need to download Outlook directly from your Microsoft uh, Office 365 account. And that's pretty much it for the app. Uh, thank you for your time. And if you have any questions, please contact our support team. Have a great day. Goodbye.